Hey there, I'm Kamel, and this is my Prosper English YouTube channel. Today I have a story for you about a caravan. A caravan is a group of people and animals moving together on a long distance, usually through the desert. Here you can see what a caravan looks like. Now, in our story, there is a prince who is traveling the desert together with his people and animals. I hope you will have an opportunity to learn some new vocabulary. So, enjoy! Here's a story about a prince who traveled the desert. So, here's a prince on the camel. The caravan is relentlessly traversing the desert. It's the prince with his seven strong entourage. Now, some vocabulary. A caravan is a group of people or animals traveling together a long journey, especially through the desert. Relentless means continuing without becoming weaker, less severe. Traverse. This means to move across. His seventh strong entourage. Entourage is a group of people who go with and assist an important person, like here, these people are assisting the prince. Strong is used to indicate the number of people in a large group. So, the prince's entourage consists of seven men. Two of them are Kelly and Daha. The prince says, What a drag! I've had my fill of this! Only sand, 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 everywhere! And us baking under the hot desert sun! Just look around at this hundred parched landscape! And we're parched too! This is an awe-inspiring sight, your highness, Kali says. Some vocabulary. What a drag! Drag is someone or something that is boring, annoying or disappointing, like this journey. I've had my fill of this. Have had one's fill of something means not to want to do or have any more of something. So it means that's enough. I've had enough. Us baking under the hot desert sun. Bake means to be or become very hot. This humdrum parched landscape. Humdrum means not interesting, dull, boring and ordinary. Parched. Parched landscape. We are parched too. This adjective means very dry, especially because of hot weather and no rain. Like here, parched landscape, very dry landscape. If something is parched, it means it's very dry, especially because of hot weather and no rain. Have a look at this image. And we are parched too. Parched also means very thirsty. We are very thirsty. This is an awe-inspiring sight, your highness. Awe-inspiring means producing a strong feeling of fear or respect and also wonder. The princess. I know that travel broadens the mind, but why do we have to travel all the byways of this country? The hot sun scorched everything. There are no plants, there's no water. Are we going to die? Probably yes, Daha says. But not the camels. They are persistent animals. Fine, some vocabulary. Broaden. To broaden means to make something wider or more general. Byway. All the byways of this country. This is a road that is not used very much. Like here the road through the desert. Byways. These are roads that are not used very much. Like this one here. The hot sun scorched everything. Scorch means to damage something by making it extremely dry. 
But not the camels. The camels are not going to die. Because they are persistent animals. Persistent means continuing to do something or to try to do something even though it's difficult or other people want you to stop. Fine. And finally the prince says, that's great news, I'm relieved. Relieved means feeling relaxed and happy because something difficult or unpleasant has been stopped, avoided or made easier. Feeling relief. So the prince feels relieved when he learns that the camels are not gonna die. Just the people are going to die. It's sarcastic, of course. And now that you know all the vocabulary, let's have a look at the story one more time. The caravan. The caravan is relentlessly traversing the desert. It's the prince with his seven strong entourage. What a drag! I've had my fill of this. Only sand, 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 everywhere, and us baking under the hot desert sun. Just look around at this humdrum parched landscape. And we are parched too. This an awe-inspiring sight, your highness. I know that travel broadens the mind, but why do we have to travel all the byways of this country? The hot sun scorched everything. There are no plants, there's no water. Are we going to die? Probably yes, but not the camels. They are persistent animals. That's great news. I'm relieved. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.